first day, first round, Nana Jagnizi and Nina Vasishvili, a duel between two Georgians. Of course, the rules uh, demand that. It was a very interesting and exciting thing with a lot of <laughs> turns and twists. Uh, do you want to start and tell us from your perspective how they came? Yeah, I think the game was quite interesting um, from the beginning. And in the middle game, I think I was playing for in, uh, initiative. Um, but at some point, I missed uh, queen b8. When I played bishop e5, I missed this queen b8 uh, resource. And after that, queen d5, rook d8, and uh, she. Uh, she takes this uh, d file, and uh, after that, um, I'm not sure if my if, uh, my position is uh, better or anything. But uh, later on, I think she blundered this um, uh, rook d2, and rook after d2, yeah, yeah. after uh, rook d2, I mean, uh, I don't know, must be winning for white. But I absolutely uh, forgot that after rook c5, she has the first rook c5 and then rook e2. This I absolutely forgot, and uh, I only was calculating rook bb2 and king f2, and I thought uh, this position is also a big advantage for white. But uh, um, after I I missed this uh, rook c5, rook e2, I collapsed after that. I mean, uh, and you just went on to yeah, all the pawns yeah. and, and uh, I think after that g4 and all of this, my position was totally lost, but uh, then somehow, you know, when you have a queen, you always have some chance, you know, for these perpetual checks and everything, I don't know. Well, and, uh, Nino, Nino, what's your take? Obviously, that moment with rook d2 when you're, uh, when you uh, yeah, have to give I up totally your queen. Yeah, I totally this idea because I have this uh, queen d1 first, then she played queen e5, I can go queen d1, and then she goes rook c1, I can make queen d4 check and after... Then How did you feel that moment when you when you saw the, did you see rook d2 when you moved your uh, No, no, she just moved and I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I take what to do. I should okay. take on d2. Because I was happy I, I am not losing immediately my rook on d8 and I have some bishop and rook against queen and some maybe some hopes and some chances but after she make this uh, uh, she missed this uh, rook e2 and position was winning. And I think the fourth win was instead of rook d7, rook d1 to play, and up after rook a1 to play. And in, the, in the end, lo but lots I of forgot, I, I missed a, a lot of uh, checks with yeah, the queen, and after I played this g5, uh, totally <laughs> bad move because the, then she taking on f5, I, I can queen, and she taking on d7. Then I'm making check to take a six pawn. She can always put queen b3 and protect this pawn, and it's just true. That's right. Really, so a, a lot of twists and turns, ups and downs for both of you in the game. You're professionals. You've went through this many times before. Uh, how, how do you keep your composure, sitting calmly at the table when when these things happen? When suddenly you're winning, and then all of a sudden you're losing and then you're back again. How, how do you kind of, do, do you have any techniques? How you manage, yeah, I mean, you know, breathing techniques or something? It's not easy at all. It's okay. really, really very difficult I mean, to adjust the, the, the situation on the board. Mm -hmm. um, but do you have yeah. any specific technique, like I know breathing or something, in a specific way, just to calm yourself down? What do you do? do you have? Yeah, and you, you, try, you try to find the best uh, possibilities, so, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. what you can do. Yeah, but when you have no time and you are set, not, you cannot make some technique, you just play and move. You just, you just have to play. Yeah, what has to, to be done has to be done. Because it was uh, one minute, two minutes, and you are just... Okay, we're at the end of the first day. Uh, obviously, there were some challenges before this event started, issues that's all out in the media, if you'd apologize. Uh, the tournament finally started and you're playing. How do you feel about the fact that the tournament has started? and that um, you're playing. Are you now getting more focused on the games and feel more? Uh, in my case, I really don't want to even remember about this because now I'm trying to be concentrated only on the tournament. So I really don't want to talk about this. No, but what about yeah, you Yeah, because it, it was a mess these two days and we just want to forget about this and just play a and move on. game. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you very much. Good luck in the rest of the tournament and hopefully good luck.